What's up guys? Welcome back to the Drone Camps channel. I'm Justin Davis and we're coming up on our 10th year anniversary here on YouTube and bringing you drone and FPV content. And today's video is sponsored by Lavazza. No, just kidding. Um, I'm having my coffee again this morning and I have been thinking last night and this morning about this very topic of which goggles should I buy? Should I buy the Goggles 2 or should I buy the Integra? And over my past experiences over the past few months with both pairs of goggles, the V1s, I mean, even the older v, uh, V1s and the V2s that DJI released, um, and the coming version of the DJI 04 goggles. We're gonna talk about kind of all of those in this video today. And hopefully, while you're chilling and sitting back and listening, you get the correct information from me to you to what pair of goggles to buy. Now, I'm gonna put my links down below if you like the channel and I've helped you out before. And I've helped out tons of people in the hobby. They, they go and buy stuff after our reviews or just my advice through a fr you know, friendly email or, or whatever reason. They ask me for my opinion, I share it, and they usually come back and say, hey, thanks, I, I got the right thing, thank you for that. Um, I, I get that from flying at AMA fields you know, 20 years ago when I was flying RC airplanes and the old guys at the field would be like, hey, don't buy that radio. That radio is a piece of crap. Um, so I, I'm kind of passing that on to you now, like in the FPV hobby. So um, that's that's just how I grew up. So so today we're 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 talking about the the DJI goggles Integra. You know, recently people on the internet went crazy because the Integra at Black Friday went down to like 399. Um, and on the DJI official website, I'm just going to double check that real quick for you. That that price may still be possible. Um, let me uh, type in Integra here. And right now it looks like the current retail price on the DJI website is back up to $499. Now, I don't know that the $399 price exists anywhere, but that's what it is on DJI's website. Um, I, I would go to a domestic website. If you're going to buy any of these goggles that I talk about today in this video, um, use my link and go to Get FPV because Get FPV is domestic and they already have them in stock and they'll they'll ship to you pretty quick no matter whether you're in florida or on the west coast uh, and, and i work with the guys that get fpv a lot now let's let's talk about the integra the differences between the goggles too people love these the goggles too now and the integra the integra you know to to summarize it in a nutshell let's give you kind of a a layman's comparison between the two the Integra is kind of like a Ford F-150 with no bells and whistles, just a, a base model Ford F-150. And then the Goggles 2 is kind of like the King Ranch uh, version of the F-150. Super nice, all the bells and whistles, it feels good on your face. And it has, um, and we'll just get right into some of the differences that, that I enjoy versus the Integras. And, um, and again, the Integras are uh, the economy pair of go DJI goggles that will work with the O3, Cadex Vista, and all of the DJI VTXs. Now, these are some things you need to know, though, if you're going to buy the Integras. And I'm going to give you my, my honest uh, uh, things that, that I noticed that are different about the two. So first and foremost is the side panel on the goggles, too. It has this little um, kind of uh, finger touch sensitive interface navigation on the side and it, and at first it took me a while to get used to this honestly if you're a guy with big big uh, big fingers it's going to feel awkward at first and give yourself a couple months with these goggles and you'll be kind of flying around the screen with this little um, touch screen uh, interface navi on the side so up down left and right and then two fingers can make some menu go away or appear and then tapping in the middle there's kind of like a little um, it feels like a little raised uh, piece of plastic right in the middle, almost like Braille. And that's where you make your selection. So you can tap it to make a selection, start recording, things like that. Um, that's really intuitive. And it took me a little while to get used to it, but I love it now. The Goggles Integra, they have uh, kind of a five position, uh, four position side to side, up, down, and then push down for making a selection. That is pretty much the standard out there for a lot of different types of FPV devices with navigation, and that, that's, that's pretty standard for that. Um, and there's a back button just behind it. Um, it's more intuitive to use the touchscreen panel um, for navigation. 
I hope that the DJI 04 is coming out in the future will have that same type of touchscreen and not so much the joystick type of thing. Um, that's just what I prefer. Now, with the Goggles 4 coming out, uh, who knows if they're going to call them Goggles 4. They'll probably end up calling them 3 at this point, but um, at this point, we're up to so many versions of the Goggles, and they named V2 Goggles, you know, the large ones, and then they named these Goggles 2. So confusing. I don't know why they just didn't call these Goggles 3, because now we're at DJI 04, and they could actually call them 4, which maybe they'll actually do and, and uh, skip number three for some reason. I don't know what's up with DJI, but the Integra goggles, they strike me as goggles that are made for the guy who walks into Best Buy, the Mavic customer, uh, who wants to use his phone to update everything, his drone, his goggles, his radio, and that's what I ran into with the Integra. Uh, we have this thing called the FPV Repair Center, and if you look on our website, dronecamps.com, refresh the page and go down a little bit, you'll see this link right here. If you have a drone setup that you need to send out to us, like a drone, radio, goggles, and you want it all set up, we'll professionally set it up, set up your switches, and we'll ship it back to you working uh, with everything set up in Betaflight, OSD, HD, OSD, all set up. It's a $150 service plan. Um, and we also have a two drone set up as well. Now, I was working with the Integras from a client uh, so I want to say thanks to, to um, Vic out there. If Vic, if you're watching, I was working with his goggles Integra and I went to update them and I plugged them into my computer just like I, I would my goggles too. And my, all my previous versions of the DJI goggles, they all update through the DJI Assistant 2, uh, which works great. When you plug in USB cable, once they're powered on, it shows up on the screen. You click on it, you can update it. It'll update the firmware for you once you click update. And with the Integra, when I plugged in a USB-C cable, it would not load up in that program in the DJI Assistant 2. So that was, that was driving me crazy. So driving me so crazy that I went and got a PC. I installed DJI <laughs> Assistant 2 on a PC, loaded the drivers, restarted the PC, still wouldn't connect. So um, I was kind of out of it until so I hopped on Google and I see, oh my God, you know, the Integra, this was my first time trying to firmware update them. I realized that the firmware can only be updated through the DJI Fly app. So I have to go download the Fly app, connect the Integras to the Fly app. And once I got it connected to the Fly app, guess what? Again, uh, more issues. But thankfully it popped up on the screen firmware update available and the reason that i had to update them was because the integra firmware it only came working for the avada and the o3s and our client had a couple drones with cadex vista on there which are an older vtx now but still probably the main vtx that everyone uses and for some reason dji they only have it set up for the avada which is you know, arguably the worst flying Cinewhoop in the world versus the uh, 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 the DJI 03. So the, the two newest news, and they're not supporting, they're old. So what we had to do was go to a newer firmware to be able to, to update to an older VTX. It's crazy. So once I got in there, it said, now please connect your DJI drone. It wouldn't let me update the firmware. Even though I had the goggles Integra plugged into the DJI Fly app, it was still asking me to plug in the DJI drone. So at this point, I'm like, oh my God. So I, I fished out in Nevada, plugged in a Nevada, had to bind those up to the Integra. Um, <laughs> right. So then once I got that bound up, I had to have it asked me for the radio. So I had to have the radio plugged in as well and bound up to the Nevada. So I had all three things paired up. And now I'm like, okay, I can finally update the firmware on the Integras. Well, guess what? I still couldn't update the firmware because now it asked me to update the drone. So I had to update the Avada, sit there and wait for that. That finally updated after about 10 to 12 minutes. Then it wanted me to pair up and update the radio. So I updated the drone, the radio, and finally updated the Integra. But it didn't tell me that it was actually finished updating the Integra. Uh, until I restarted, I realized that it actually did. It just didn't give me a confirmation on the screen in the DJI Fly app that it actually did update the goggles Integra. Um, so yeah, and you know what? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not an Integra hater. Like people are going to call me a hater because I'm, um, expressing my opinion about, you know, a certain product. Oh my God, there's, you know, the fanboys are going to come out and they're pretty strong in the DJI world. So, uh, and, and TBS black sheep. Um, but God forbid somebody say something about their favorite pair of goggles. Uh, but I'm just telling you the differences between the firmware update process for, for me. Um, it would not let me skip that 
that drone pairing and I kind of wondered to myself like can I update the firmware on the Integra if I didn't have a DJI drone setting sitting around or would it let me connect to the DJI 03 and then bypass not having to, to have the Avada uh, available for that so that was that was kind of stunning for me that I had to go through that whole process to be able to get the firmware updated just to be able to, to go back and bind to a Cadex Vista. So that was a freaking pain. Um, so that to me, like that kind of stuff to me, like I just want to be able to plug it into my computer, bam, get the latest firmware update and just update it to um, the Vista. That, that would have been great. Now, the other thing is that the, the battery on board, the battery on board gets you two hours runtime. It's bigger, it's strapped to the head strap. And some of you guys like to have the battery up here on the head strap. You like to have it all in one unit and no wires hanging off and I get that. Um, I prefer having a separate battery that is not attached to the strap because it takes the extra weight off your head. And for personal and health reasons, I'm not a big fan of, and, you know, health reasons. Yeah, right. You have like radiation strapped to your head right there. Um, I just don't want more um, RF strapped to the side of my head uh, with a giant battery. So I'd like to have it in my pocket. Um, aside from that, it just, it just makes it feel lighter on your head. And if you're flying for a long time, it feels more comfortable to have a lighter set of goggles, a lighter setup on your head. And this one also has lasted me about two hours. So it's, it's smaller than the goggles Integra battery. And that's the other thing, battery size. Um, I felt like the Integra with the heavy battery on the back was just kind of awkward to move around, um, fold up, and it takes more space putting it inside the case. So this one um, goes in my case and I can get two of these batteries in the case with it. Uh, probably not going to get two of the Integra style batteries in a case. It's just going to be much bigger and then you're also going to have to take it off the strap. And put, I mean it's just, you know, if you're going to switch out a battery it's going to be a pain. Um, so I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, for those two reasons, you might want to consider the goggles too. Um, now the goggles too, the firmware on those right now is, is working with everything out there. Um, I, I do love that. And they're, they're saying that some, some things for the new goggles with 04 coming out, uh, we don't know the release date. They say early speculation, maybe like the first quarter of 2024. We'll see about that. But for now, I'm probably going to be flying my, my goggles too for probably the first two quarters of 2024 uh, until maybe the, the newer ones are tried and tested. They're saying that the firmware on the new ones for DJI 04 won't work with DJI 03. And they did that to us last time, if you guys remember. When the Goggles 2 came out, they wouldn't work with the Air unit and the Cadex Vista, only with the 03s. Well, the community had an outcry. The FPV community said, hey man, that sucks. We're not buying them. And so DJI came out about about three weeks later, they came out with a firmware update that let us use the goggles too on the air unit and the Cadex Vistas. Just, just, they do this every single time there's a new pair of goggles coming out. And I don't know if it, it's one of those things where they wanna try to create FOMO. Um, they wanna make you feel like you're, you're missing out on the new, new 04. But from what I've heard from like Mads Tech and WTF OSD, you know, there's gonna be a camera on the front um, and there will be some new features with 04 that are different, but there's going to be a front facing camera so you can press a button and see the Karens in front of you. But like SkyZone did that eight years ago. I, I had that on my, my SkyZone O2s uh, um, and the O3s years ago. And I still have a pair of my SkyZone O3s over here. Um, these are still my analog goggles of choice. And I, I think these are probably seven years old now. And they're still great. And look at that. There's the camera. There is actually a front facing camera on there. So uh, that's great, DJI, that you came out with a front facing camera. But um, we, no, one, no one really cares about that, honestly, uh, for, for the most part. 99% of people out there, I mean, I, I've pressed it on accident before and then been trying to fiddle with the buttons to try to get back to the FPV view because I'm trying to take off and fly and I accidentally uh, press the front facing camera. So that's kind of ridiculous. Um, but some of the other things, let's, let's jump into some of the other things that are kind of um, different about the goggles too versus the Integra. Now, you know, yes, price is probably one of the, the biggest differences, $499 right now for the Integras and $649 for the, the goggles too. I, I would personally um, 
myself go for the goggles too and spend the extra $150. Um, I actually bought Nevada just to get these about a year ago now um, because they weren't being sold separately when the Avada first came out. They had it all in that package and you, you couldn't touch them. Um, and some of the other reviewers had been sent in Nevada to review, but DJI doesn't send us um, anything because we do truths here on the channel and they don't like that. So um, they want advertising channels and people that have millions of views. Um, we helped them get off the ground. We used to be a DJI household name and we probably still are. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the way it goes when you start speaking truths about certain things and having, you know, what's uh, an opinion, an educated opinion on things. Um, but again, I, you know, I'm not a DJI developer. I'm, I'm just a pilot and uh, someone who brings back information to you guys. But one other thing that I did notice in, in the specs that, you know, I, I wish was a little bit different for the goggles Integra versus these goggles. And it's this right here. So with this, you can remove the goggles to antennas. They come off just like that and I can snap it back on. You can also upgrade these antennas um, on the goggles too. So that that's a nice feature. It does say on the goggles Integra specs that the antennas on the goggles Integras are non-removable. Um, so that's kind of concerning. Someone make, make a comment down below if, if you've taken yours off or you figured out a hack to, to pull those antennas off and replace them. Uh, but they both have OLED screens. They both work, both work with O3 natively, um, and they both support H.264 and 265. That's that's pretty great. Uh, but the biggest difference is probably the firmware update process, which is a total pain. The battery strap and the navigation for me. Um, but other than that, they're 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 fairly similar um, once you get around some of those kind of pitfalls. But that's that's been my experience in the past couple months and hopefully that helps address and answer some of the questions about the differences between the big differences between the Integras and the goggles too um, because so many of you guys are on the fence about what to buy because of the price uh, the dramatic price drop and again it looks like the the price is back up to 499 here so um, I, I would suggest if if you decide to buy either pair get them from a domestic company uh, because they can ship to your house a little bit quicker than they can from DJI. Uh, and, you know, DJI may have a warehouse in LA, which they did 10 years ago. So those may ship domestically or you may be on a um, back order uh, log. So you may have to wait a little bit longer. But I would get them from Get FPV because they're a great company. Um, they are domestic. And I was just thinking recently, oh my God, you know, what, what happens if, like, get FPV ever went under. Um, we also have like folks like RDQ, um, Tyler Brennan's company, still supporting the FPV community and, and Pyro drones. So thank, thank God that we have still three big main sources for FPV hardware in the United States. Um, we got to give some praise and thanks out to those guys for, for still investing in us. Um, that makes me feel happy. So a lot of FPV companies have went under in the last two years, three years since the um, pandemic started. So um, yeah, count your laurels guys and uh, stay happy and healthy out there. And let me know what coffee you're drinking uh, this morning as you're watching this video or this afternoon. And uh, I'm gonna finish up my last cup of coffee here. Got a big mug today and uh, take care. Please check out our links down below and I will definitely see you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.